and this is kind of a tough point in the year because you do have to make some decisions, uh, not just with him, but even with some young guys. You know that you, you know, that you, you need to see can they help us on special teams because we know that depth depth is an issue, and um, you know that when you get some guys that are beat up and banged up, you know, and you say, wow, well, if we started him now, well, he'd have a chance to help us, you know, two three weeks from now. That's a that's a that's a real uh, dilemma at times, and we've gone through the deliberation of talking about guys. You know, would that be a good thing? Would that not? But this time of the year, game five and then game six and seven, that's where you really, really gets hard. You know, and so those conversations have been had. No, I mean four and zero. <laughs> So uh, I, I think I think what we got to keep doing is just keep getting better with the guys we have. I mean, I mean I hope that these kids can, can you know play hard and play against the likes of Tennessee's and whoever else we have after Tennessee and and uh, because that just that just helps us that helps us so much and and I preach them all the time. I mean with you guys being out there that allows our team to stay fresh. I mean you guys know we're not deep. I mean that's been that's been our Achilles heel all along and and. Uh, and uh, these guys have got to play for us. You know, they've got to do something for us, and they've got to be able to produce and, and, and help us be able to compete against West Virginia for a full game and get stronger instead of, you know, having a team like that wears down. So, that, I mean, that's, that's what those guys are doing. So, I mean, again, uh, you know, they, 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 ha they haven't killed us yet. You know, they haven't, they haven't done anything that, 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 that's helped us win a game per se, but they haven't killed us yet where, we, where we've lost one. So I'm hoping that they can keep growing and, and keep getting better as a competition up still stiffens. I don't know if there's been a particular season where we didn't have that. I do know the typically the longer I'm with a group of guys and the longer they kind of buy into the mentality that I'm trying to to preach to them, the closer they'll get to being the kind of guys that are just warriors, and it doesn't matter who you're playing. And certainly, I mean, you see it every weekend in college football. Um, there are teams, and sometimes they win, and sometimes they lose against big underdogs because they don't step out and play the way that they're capable of playing. Um, but, you know, my take on it is you only get 13 opportunities to step out there and play in a game on Saturdays. You got a lot of days you got to practice, a lot of days you got to run, a lot of days you got to lift weights and do a whole bunch of other stuff you don't necessarily like to do. So when you get an opportunity to step out there under the lights, it shouldn't matter who you're playing. And if if you're the right kind of person and if you got the right spirit, if you if you're a warrior, then you'll go to battle regardless of who it is. No, I'm excited. I, I really am because I got a lot of good friends and relationships that I built while I was there. Uh, a chance to uh, see some of the players that I, you know, help recruit and uh, got an opportunity to coach. So uh, I really am excited. You know, uh, you know, a lot of people ask me about, you know, is it going to be weird to be coaching? When you're coaching, you don't think about those things. You know, uh, probably the weirdest thing would have been when I coached at Oklahoma State against Baylor, which is where I played at, but I really didn't notice until after the game. There was more of a, you know, talk going into it, but. It really didn't set in until afterwards because when you assign different deals to watch or look for, you're more concentrating on those things than, you know, looking at, you know, the stadium or the fans and all that. So, but I am excited about going back. Uh, I think just what I've learned from Philip, you know, Philip was a guy that was making almost $2 million and he would walk across the street and there could be paper blowing and he'd stop and pick it up. And, uh, you know, I don't know very many people that, you know, made that kind of money that would stop and do that. But it showed me that, you know, it wasn't just a job for him. He loved the place. Uh, it was something that uh, he took a lot of pride in. And uh, the family that we talk about here, he felt that same way about Tennessee. And uh, I think that really stood out to me, that a guy could, uh, you know, humble himself, even though at the stature that he was at, he would stop and do that. And then, you know, recruiting. You know, they, they don't back down. They, they go after anybody. They don't care who's recruiting them. It's not a deal that, um, you know, so-and-so is recruiting going to back off. You know, they feel like when they had that tear on their chest, you were in the top five, you know. And, uh, and most of the time they were correct.
Uh, just the opportunity to be the co-coordinator, that deal. Uh, you know, and, and Coach Foreman and I had already talked about he wasn't going to give me that opportunity there. Uh, you know, he felt like he had to get somebody that had a name, and I understood that. You know, and, and guys still and I talk on the phone. It's not a deal where he and I don't get along or, you know, we don't talk. It was a business decision, just like for me it was. You know, and I've been fortunate. You know, guys, I've been doing this since going into my 17th year, and I've been able to take jobs when I was ready, not because I had to. You know, so uh, being able to be in this business and not ever be fired is, you know, I, I, I like to keep that record going, <laughs> keep that streak alive. But I think a lot of it's because of relationships. And then you, you always try to go there and do your best. You know, if you take a job thinking that I'm going to wait for the next one, you probably won't be there long. But if you take that job as if it's your last, then you'll probably be there for a while. And uh, that's what I try to do.